Welcome back, everyone. Lance Scurve here. I've been blasted with emails and text messages. Crazy stuff because of the election. Now that it's over, let us take this time to work toward a better future. As a black man, I well know the history of America, and I will never forget it. We should never forget. But hopefully, while we still will always see the scars of what has been done, and we're going to work furiously to close the gaps of wealth, we should stop the foolishness and the ratchetness because the attack on us as a people is not going to stop. They're too far gone. Is Donald Trump going to stop this? I'm not saying he will. But at least we don't have to worry about that end of things as if Kamala Harris won the election and the way she would have continued to come at us even harder. There's so many ways they move against us in a covert manner. At least there's a little bit less strain on us. But it doesn't mean that we don't have to work. We have a lot of work to do as a people. Just because an election is won and there's a couple of promises made doesn't mean that we don't have a responsibility to ourselves. We do. Even more so. Because if the gates are open for us to run freely instead of being trapped in a system that is so opposed to us to destroy us and wipe us off the face of the earth, it's still there. It's still there. No matter who won the election, it's still there. All I'm saying is that don't let this victory, which is a nice one, but don't let it make you drop your guard. It's almost like folks, when they get that tax return check, might be 2,000, 3, 4, 8,000. Temporarily, you feel rich. You feel wealthy. And you spend and you spend and you spend and you spend all your money. And you look around and you say, where did it go? Well, there's a window of opportunity now that we saw what was in the country with us, even with our own people, who would come against us if we didn't vote for that Irish Hindu woman named Kamala Harris. We're so gullible. And that's another thing. We have to test the spirit and we have to check the facts on what comes around us, even when it looks like us. Yes, there's a time for somewhat of a celebration, but we don't need to go on teasing or gloating. This is a time to work. As always, no matter who is in office, it's time for us to work. But at least one thing is for sure. We found out how many of us, if you know what I mean, those who look like me, are not really pulling for us to succeed. It doesn't mean we're pulling over anybody else. It just means that we're going to take responsibility for our own destiny to not be a burden on anybody. But at the same time, we do deserve reparations. Let's see what Donald Trump does with that. And anybody, no matter who got elected, I'm going to call them out if they're wrong on anything. But give the man a chance to do his job. Let's see what he's going to do. Because what he did before, for the four years, things weren't bad. There's always going to be a crazy police officer that want to shoot us down. There's always going to be somebody that calls us the N-word or calls our ch child that in school. This is not going to go away. It's always going to be with us. So I'm not saying to ignore it. All I'm saying is that right now, if America feels they're going to make strides, let us benefit from that mentality. Let us benefit from the illegal aliens being sent back because they're using our tax money. And it's given to them. If Donald Trump pulls that away and sends them back, I'm all for it because it's not fair. That's like somebody cutting in front of the line in the supermarket that you've been waiting on for so long. Even in your own personal life, like I've said before, we need to do things for ourselves. It's not possible for us to unify with everyone who looks like us because there are some who are going to tear you down. And while many of us look for the white folks who may be racist, we have a lot of people who look like us who are racist against us and our progress, who think lowly of us and have low expectations, who don't want the best for, for us. I want the best for me and I damn sure want the best for you. How could you not want that? There's something mentally wrong with anybody who doesn't want to ascend or want the best for themselves 
and the best for other people. If that's the kind of America that is going to be coming, well, I'm all in. Even though I live in another country, my heart and soul is still there, just like my heart and soul is here. I was born and raised in New York City, lived in different parts of the country, so I can't turn my back on my people there. There's still love. And as far as the system is concerned, I did not like the system in America. Maybe that would change. But as far as America is concerned, I love America. I love the land. I love my people. And I love the people who love my people. And you know, I've always been outspoken on that issue. I don't have to repeat it. But again, if this is the climate that's coming into the country, let's make goals. Unify with those that you know that you can unify with because you can't unify with everybody just because they talk to talk. Test the spirit and always be careful of who you let into your energy field. And I think you'll be all right. I'm going to keep this short. We got more content to make. I got some food to make, some food to eat. And the sun is going down. And it's been a very beautiful and productive day. And I want to thank you all for following along and sharing and your contributions because it drives me to see the enthusiasm for what I do here. I will always keep going. And if you criticize me constructively, I will do better. I will always be heart and soul into speaking the truth. Much love to you all. Lance Scurve out. See you in the next one. Mwah. Landscurve.com. Bold, raw, and uncut.